points. But Grace, how much credit to all this goes to the work done by Richie Murphy and his, and his coaching team to, to get to Ireland to this point? Oh, huge. You know, it's all the behind the scenes. It's looking at the analysis. It's looking what other teams do. It's looking at the skill sets of the team. It's looking at what strengths and weaknesses do they have and what sort of game plan are you wanting to play? And, you know, when you see the likes of Sam Prendergast and his game management, then you can understand that they're discussing that, going, right, if this happens, what are we going to do? Everybody's on the same page, knowing, right, I'm, we're kicking, we're using this advantage and we're kicking cross-field kick. Like, you know how influential he is when th their backs are against the wall, they're struggling, they're after going to try down in the second half and they're able to pull themselves back up. They're able to keep to their structures and know exactly what they're going to do to, to keep driving. And that's a sign of really good leadership. And there's probably a great example for senior players and more experienced guys to... Um, it can happen you, when you're in big pressurised situations that you drop your head when you make a mistake. They just seem to bin it and go on to the next thing. Yeah. And it's maybe it's youthful enthusiasm and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they do that brilliantly. They get on to the next thing and they, they kind of at times hold their hands up if something goes wrong, whether it is a line out or a missed kick or, or, or a knock, ball, knock on or something like that. But um, you asked about Richie Murphy there. I think he'll be first to mention he's, he's, a, he's coaches, Mark Sexton, Aaron Dundon, Aaron Brown. Andrew Brown has come in for uh, Willie Falloon, who couldn't make the tournament and per for personal reasons. So they've put in endless amount of work with this group. And the benefit to this, we're seeing the benefits of that unity and that togetherness. It's not just the, the 15 to take the field. There's an extended squad here, and I think they're all on the same wavelength. The, the impact off the bench has been really impressive. And they've had time to build up to this tournament. So to get to a final, it's another kettle of fish who they'll play. Um, we suspect it'll be France, who yeah. knows, but... You know, they've put themselves in a great position now that um, they can go and enjoy it and, and certainly they'll be very, very determined to try and win it. But I think they deserve massive credit, you know, after the English game at the start when it was a draw, when they could have dropped their heads a little bit. Uh, brilliant performance against Australia in, in really wet conditions. And the ups and downs and the ebbs and flows against Fiji, but they delivered and they did what they had to do. And I'll go back and say, you know, 31-12, incredibly impressive scoreline. It's a big scoreline against the South African side at home.